Hey, what's up everybody? So uh, I came across a 20 gallon innovative marine tank that was being thrown out and it was, I'm not gonna lie, it's in pretty bad condition, but I'm curious to see if we can save this tank. Now I did a quick, um, a brief leak test and it seemed to be good. I Visually, there's no cracks or anything in the tank, so it should be okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the tank. I'm really curious to see how it works out because I really, uh, it'd be really cool to use for the shop as a little display tank. And I mean, it was gonna be garbage. So, I mean, it's a free tank if it works out. So here's the aquarium right here. Um, I don't know what type of condition it is in. Uh, I don't know if it has any leaks or anything. It's been out here in the sun, so I don't know what kind of damage it's gonna have, but you can see like it's, you can just look at it and tell how nasty it is look at this yeah that just came off it looks like some type of algae or something gross um we're gonna find out see if these pumps work and everything but these innovative marines are really nice tanks it's got some power heads in here too but the smell of it is just so terrible the glass is pretty nasty too which being out here in the sun in florida sun is gonna really be hard to get that off so i'll go ahead and soak that in uh, some vinegar and water Let's see what we can do to see if we can salvage this tank. I love Innovative Marine tanks. This is about a 20 gallon, all in one. Let's see what we can do with it. We'll start by cleaning it up. So I just took the sand out and it's just as nasty as I thought it was gonna be. Look at this. Look how cloudy that water is. Ugh. So I'm not gonna use any of this. It smells really bad. I'm not gonna use any of this sand. It's disgusting. And we'll start fresh. And I'm gonna go ahead and hose it all out now and then I'm going to throw some vinegar in there to help break down some of the harder algae that's on there. And then we'll see what we're looking at. We have a couple of power heads here. Um, I don't, we'll see if they work. I'm going to go ahead and soak these in some RO water and vinegar for a little bit and then run them. And if you can see closely right here, there's black sand right here on the magnet. That's because the black sand is magnetized. That's why I don't like using this black sand at all because if you have a magnet scraper, it gets onto that magnet and then you go ahead and you clean your glass and it will scrape the glass. That's why I'm not a big fan of this black uh, gravel at all. But this is just nasty. Ugh, look at that. Ugh, gross. So finished cleaning the tank, uh, scraped it a bit. So here's where we're at right now. I, we cleaned it the best that we could, got back all in there. Uh, shot backed all that out, scrubbed it. So this is what it looks like now. I'm just gonna leave it dry and then I'm gonna pick it up tomorrow. We'll fill it up and we'll leak test it and everything. Um, but as of right now, sitting at the front of our shop, this is where it will probably end up being. We'll probably use it if, it if everything works well as a display tank. So here we are a week later. The tank looks really good. No leaks or anything like that. Everything uh, seems to be working really well. I, I did have to buy a new return pump for it though. Um, but we decided to do something a little bit different with the aquarium. We are gonna be using it in, as a rock flower anemone holding tank. And there they are, the rock flower anemones, looking beautiful. One of my favorite things to add to a reef aquarium, one of my favorite anemones by far, uh, really underrated. And we'll probably add some anemone shrimp in here or something like that in the future just to give a little bit more life. And definitely a lot more rock flowers. We're just kind of, just testing it out for now, but they seem to be doing pretty well. Now, both those power heads work fine, and uh, like, but I did have to add the, the, return, the new return pump. Now, as far as lighting goes, we just put one simple AI Prime on there, which we already had here at the shop. But all in all, I mean, this definitely worked out pretty well, and uh, it's gonna serve its purpose. I mean, it was gonna be thrown out, so heck, now we got a little area for, uh, to be able to keep our rock flower and enemies and uh, customers can enjoy it as well. So boom, just like that, we got a new aquarium for the shop. It means I'm really happy I stopped and I grabbed it because somebody was just gonna throw that out. You wouldn't believe, but doing aquarium service, there's a ton of people that just throw tanks out. They don't even bother putting them up on like Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp or anything. It's, it's crazy to me. I just recently picked up a 110 gallon tank for myself 
that a customer was had in their garage that they were getting ready to move to the side of the street for pickup for trash. And I was like, yo, I'll grab it, I'll take it. Yeah, we constantly uh, run into people getting rid of tanks. So I, I'm a bit of a hoarder like that. I always try to grab an aquarium and if I don't use it for myself or for the shop, well, I'll put it on offer up. Again, this was a big win and I couldn't be happier uh, it was like a couple bucks to get that return pump or whatever. The tank looks great and it's in, in really good condition. So uh, it's all good. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one.